Hi, and welcome to the Cleaning Company Time Clock Tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be showing you how you can set up your time clock so that your employees can start clocking in and out today. To begin, click on Time Clock on the left sidebar menu and access your clock. The first thing you want to do is to set up your jobs that your employees will be clocking in and out to. To do so, click on settings on the top right corner and select jobs on the left. In Connect Team, jobs are something that you wish to track time for. For cleaning companies, this is typically a client or a location. To add a new client, click on add job and put in the client's name. You can add additional information by clicking on edit to the right. For instance, you can select what users or groups are qualified to work with this specific client. You can add the client's location and you can even add special instructions like the code to the client's home. Another popular capability to enable is the geolocation and geofencing. By setting the geolocation to required, you can capture your employee's location when clocking in and out. The second thing you want to set up is the geofencing, which will ensure that employees are clocking in on site. Begin by adding the client's name, their address, and finally select the appropriate job. Now you've created a fence around the client's location, ensuring that employees are clocking in within the fenced area and not outside. Now, let's switch hats for a moment and show you the whole experience, from when an employee clocks in to how to conduct payroll. As an employee, to access my time clock, all I need to do is to click on the quick action button that says time clock within the application. From here, I can do several things like viewing and editing my timesheets, add holiday or shift requests. But for this example, we will just start our shift. After clicking on the large blue button, all that I need to do is to select the client I want to clock into, and that's it. It's as simple as that to clock in. Now, let's switch hats again and see how it looks from the manager dashboard. As an administrator, I have two tabs, the Today tab and the Timesheets tab. Currently, I'm in the Today tab and here I can see all of the employees that have clocked in today. I can see the job they've clocked into, the hour that they clocked into, and if I hover over that hour, I can see the address, and at the bottom right, I can even see it on the map view. Now, let's head over to the Timesheets tab to conduct payroll. The first thing I'll want to do is to change the dates to my payroll period. Now, all the information below will change accordingly and in the current view, I can see one row for each of my employees with their totals. If I click on an employee, I can get a more detailed view of their time card. Here, I can easily edit an hour, delete a shift, add an absence, communicate with my employees, and I even have visual indications to help me spot any anomalies. As soon as I've gone over all of my employees' hours, all that I need to do is to click on the export button where I'll be presented with a few options. The payroll totals is similar to the current view, one row for each employee with their totals, and the timesheets and shift report are similar to the time card view, which goes into a lot more detail that I showed you before. A final thing worth mentioning that might be useful for home care companies is the Job Insights tab, which will show you how your resources are allocated for your different clients. To get all the hours for a specific client, all that you need to do is to click on that specific client and the information will all be there. 
to see the hours for another client, change the filter and the information will update itself automatically. When you're happy, you can export that information for billing purposes, either as an Excel or PDF. We hope you found this tutorial helpful and thank you so much for watching.